Hello, in this video, we are going to share with you how you can technically build something like this uh, for your um, e-commerce store in ClickFunnels, all right? Now, have in mind that design is completely up to you. You can change this according to your brands and needs and looks, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go to a blank page and we are going to create um, a section. Then we are gonna select three rows now, in these three rows, we are going to know exactly what we are going to do. Now, have in mind that you want to have a few uh, elements um, in terms of image elements. The first one is going to be the product, all the products. Then it's going to be this picture here as well that you need to build, um, that you need to build accordingly, right? Now, the last picture is going to be these ones, okay? And this, all this stuff is pretty simple you can find them online or create yourself uh, so that you um, may use them now next thing to the equation is we are going to add the elements the first one is going to be basic the second one is going to be a 30 day sub headline 30 day supply made bold the second the the this, the third one is going to be this one, and then we're going to add another picture, and then we're going to add, um, let me see, another thing like this, so we can add um, you, you save money, then we're going to add a button here. You simply add the elements that you absolutely need. We're going to add another image, and then lastly, we're going to add another text. Okay, now this text is going to be total um, 150 um, 50 plus shipping. Okay, so now here we're going to use this one. We're going to make this shorter a little bit. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be the structure. Now we just need to um, fill this in. All right, so I just went ahead and filled with the pictures that we had right here just so we save a little bit of time. Now, we just to make sure that this looks like something like this, we need to start building it. So the first thing is gonna go to columns and select the first column. You simply follow the steps. And now here we're gonna choose a blue. Now in terms of square, 15 pixels, okay? This is gonna be the first step. Second step is gonna be, go to the third, the second column do the exact same thing, but use a red, 15 pixels. And then to the third column, you do the exact same thing. Okay, now in this one is gonna be a blue, okay? Now, the next thing into the equation is we need to, to start changing these texts. So in this case, we are gonna use the CSS IDs, so, Let's add all of them here. Uh, we need to target them as H1s. And what, what we're gonna start with is, we're gonna start with the font size being 56 pixels. And we do need the, the, the important command here. Background blue. color white. Now we are going to play with margins. Yeah, we don't need the important. Now we're going to play with borders. And you can simply follow along as you see here. Right, so what we do is we added a 12 pixel border on top, left corner, top right corner, and that's pretty much about it. So this is gonna be our plans, uh, because after that we're gonna need the shipping information right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is the exact same thing. Now here we can do like a, we can do a different thing, so we can share something like this but anyway now in terms of the button we need to make it fill width and we need to make it yellow and text black this one should be 
much closer than the, to the button and this one should be much further from the button so now let's go ahead and grab the css id for the shipping information which we're going to add right there and for the shipping information we are going to do something similar okay so let's start with the background color blue now color white let's go ahead and do uh, the margins Now let's go ahead and do the um, padding, um, 10 pixels, padding, 0, zero 10 pixels, 0 pixels, oh, this is padding top, okay, so padding top is just that, now padding bottom, 10 pixels as well, and the only thing we need to add is the border radius. So in this case, the border radius is going to be zero. Because these two are the bottom one, bottom right, bottom left. And that's pretty much about it. So what you need to do next is you need to do the exact same thing uh, to the other ones. There we go. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing to the third column. Now the left, the center column is going to be the exact same thing as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab CSS ID um, and now what we need to do it's not the CSS ID we need right now but what we need is the H1s sorry so there we go grab that code plans this is the third this is the this is the middle column so we're gonna add it there we copy everything we paste it but now instead of blue we add red white and yep that's gonna be it we do the exact same thing to the shipping we copy it we go to the shipping it's the middle one so here we copy we paste it red um now what we need to do is just add a little bit of margin right there like 30 pixels and that's it now in terms of differences here what we need to do is we need to reduce the top and we need to reduce the size of the um, of the picture so it stays in the same line um, and we can add this a little bit closer a little bit closer a little bit closer if you want this is just design wise so you can play along with that and now if you can see here this middle column is a little bit bigger so that's what we are going to do we are going to make it a little bit bigger and it has best value so let's go ahead best value let's make this a little bit closer to that instead of auto let's edit uh, 0.7 ems make this top margin a little bit like that okay cool so now we need to go to the second column and copy the CSS ID right here and now we are gonna do the middle column we are going to um, we are going to simply transform it so we are going to use the transform scale and we need to play with the, um, the values so here you have 1.1, 1, .1, 1 can be 1.5, so maybe 1.8, 9, something like that. Um, and we kind of want to do a top minus 40 pixels, maybe. Maybe it's too big, so 30 pixels. Um, so it's a little bit bigger. And yeah, now here. You might want to add the top padding right there so it fits in the same section but it's pretty much about it now in terms of design you can make it look way better just change the color just change the way that and then you just change the plans as well so premium um, popular now the other things is you, you can change this entirely to make it look better or something like that so yeah but that's the 
but that's pretty much about it you need to craft this as an image okay you need to have these other two images as well three images and these badges now this one can go a little bit closer there we go um one thing that i would do is make sure that the bottom line you know like this thing is exact the same as this one so we need to adjust this one by removing a little bit of space here so that's something that you can do as well just to refine it a little bit something like this um and there's probably something else which is this image we would need to make it like that there you go so yeah that's pretty much step by step if you are interesting to learn more about how to design or how to use CSS in your advantage in ClickFunnels. I have the perfect products for that. Send me a message or check the links in the description. And yeah, just that's pretty much about it. If you have any other um, requests for um, tutorials, let me know and I'll be crafting them. Have a wonderful day.